Welcome to today's practice. It looks like I'm sitting in the grass, <laughs> but I assure you I have a mat underneath me. As we bring our hands to heart centre, let's set an intention for our practice. Maybe you want to be a little bit more flexible. Maybe you want to find your flow. As we interlace the fingers and turn the hands inside out in front of us and then raising our hands above our head. And leaning over to the right, breathing in, exhaling over to the left, back to centre, releasing the fingers and taking the right hand to the left knee, left hand behind the bottom. Breathing in, exhaling to the other side. Left hand to right knee, right hand behind the bottom. Inhaling, exhaling to the other side. A nice twist in the torso. One more time. And back to centre. Taking a breath in here and then exhaling as we forward fold over our crossed legs. So this, this practice today is all about releasing tension. Tension in our muscles, tension in our mind as we slowly come back up to the seated position and cross the legs in the other way. And then inhaling and exhaling as we lower down towards the ground. Pushing ourselves back up with our hands now, we're gonna keep the left leg tucked into our pelvis, the right leg bends behind us, and we're just going to lean back and open our heart towards the sky. You can stay on your hands here, or if you have a little bit more flexibility, in the thighs then you can come down onto your forearms and if you have more flexibility still you can go all the way down onto your back inhaling as we come back up tucking the right foot into the pelvis the left knee bends with the foot behind us opening the chest towards the sky dropping the head back Coming down onto the forearms, if your body allows it. Getting a nice stretch through the thigh, the front of the leg, as well as the back. And then slowly coming back up. Coming into tabletop position on all fours. Going to run through three cat cows, taking our gaze high towards the sky, dropping our stomach towards the mat, and then curling our spine in the opposite direction as we come into cat pose, making sure elbows are under wrists, taking our gaze between our leg, and then on the last one, maybe sticking the tongue out, making some noise on the last cow, and then curling through for cat pose. Taking the arms long now, forward towards the mat, chest towards the mat, hips are high. And we're just taking a few rounds of breath here. Coming back up to neutral spine. Tucking the toes into downward facing dog. Pushing the heels towards the mat. Legs are straight, hips are high. And our head is hanging heavy between our arms. Taking our left foot between our hands. Coming up into warrior one. Arms going high, fingers are spread wide. Maybe putting a slight bend as we 
and come into warrior two within the front palm reverse warrior coming back into warrior two straightening that front leg and then leaning the top of the body forward into our triangle pose left arm is on the inside of our left leg right arm is high we're going to use all of our mat today as well so back into warrior two and then we're going to go straight into warrior two on the other side and do the reverse so flipping the front palm coming into reverse warrior back into warrior two Straightening the front leg, shifting the upper body forward and then bringing the right hand on the inside of the right leg. Left arm goes long. Back into warrior two. And then turning the back foot so we come into warrior one. Framing the front foot and kicking it back to meet the other foot in downward facing dog. Dropping to our knees now. We're going to run through three more cat cows. Really curving the spine, taking our gaze between the legs. And then gaze goes towards the sky as our chest and belly go towards the mat. Just creating some fluidity here, in, especially around the sacrum and the spine. And then taking the arms long, chest towards the ground and forehead gently rests on the mat. This is a beautiful pose for the shoulders and for the thoracic. And then gently coming back up onto the hands into downward facing dog. Taking the left foot between the hands, coming up into warrior one as we run through this sequence again. Slight back bend. Turning the back foot, coming into warrior two. Flipping the front palm, reverse warrior. And then straightening that front leg, shifting the upper body forward into triangle pose back into warrior two and then we're going to shift over to the other side straight into warrior two flipping the front palm bringing it up and over Warrior two, and then straightening the front leg again, shifting the upper body forward and bringing the right arm down on the inside of the right leg. Back to warrior two, and then turning the back foot coming into warrior one. I was on a bit of a lean today, so my balance is not perfect. And then meeting in downward facing dog. Pedaling out the legs. Maybe shooing a few ants away that were biting me. <laughs> and 
and then walking the feet up between the hands, dropping heavy onto our thighs, maybe holding the elbows, hands back to the mat, coming up for halfway lift, forward fold, swan dive the arms up and over the head, bringing them down to heart centre. So we come into Tadasana here. So grounding down through the connection points in the feet, switching on the thighs, the glutes, the abs, the arms, and then taking the arms high as we come into chair pose, dropping the hips backwards, slowly standing, and then inhaling. We take our hands high again and then exhaling as we take our hands either side getting rid of any tension stress negative energy anything that's been stored that no longer serves us this is your opportunity to put it all behind you get rid of it standing tall again coming down one more time and then raising the left foot, we go into one legged chair and then raising the right foot, really engaging the core here, testing our balance. Hands on the hips as we take our left leg long and we're going to drop the back knee to the mat. Leaning forward in our low lunge, untucking the toes. And then coming back to sit on the back heel as we stretch the right hamstring, reaching for the toes here if that's comfortable to do so. Coming back into the low lunge. And then our left hand is going to grab our left foot as we stretch the thigh on our left leg. Just gently resting the right hand on the right leg and pulling the left foot towards the bottom. Gently releasing the foot, sinking a little bit deeper into this pose. Coming back to stretch the leg one last time. And then shifting into a side lunge, a low side lunge, over to the other side. Really feeling a beautiful stretch on the insides of the legs. And then changing into a low lunge on the other side. I told you we were going to use a lot of the mat today. And then coming back to sit on the back heel, left leg is long this time, reaching for the toes. Coming back into low lunge. And then grabbing the right foot with the right hand. Pulling it towards the bottom. And then gently releasing the foot back to the earth, sinking the hips a little bit deeper towards the mat. And then sitting down on the back heel as we stretch our left leg. Coming to the side of the mat now. Legs are straight or you can have a slight bend in them. Reaching for our ankles as we're forward folding towards the earth with our head, our upper body. Feeling a beautiful stretch down the back of the legs. Coming 
hands on our hips as we slowly come to a standing position. And then breathing in as we drop down into goddess pose. Hands are in prayer position above our head. Or you can bring them out to the side into connecting the middle finger and thumb. Coming back to the top of our mat now. Breathing in, hands to heart center as we forward fold and meeting in downward facing dog. Body should be feeling nice and warm now as we take our right leg high, bringing the knee towards the nose, taking the right leg back again knee towards the nose one more time and then folding the leg under the body in pigeon pose sitting up on our hands to start with and then breathing in as we take our hands high above our head in this seated pigeon pose Maybe interlacing the hands behind the back, opening the heart towards the sky, dropping the head back. And then coming forward onto the forearms if your body allows. Or even dropping your head onto your forearms if that's comfortable for you. And then tucking the toes, coming back into downward facing dog, into the other side now. So taking the left leg high and then bringing the knee to nose, kicking it back two more times. And on the third time, tucking the left leg underneath the body in pigeon pose, sitting tall to start with on our hands and then breathing in as we take our arms high above our head or maybe putting a bit more of a back bend in there interlacing the hands behind the back opening the chest towards the, the sky coming back onto our hands or our forearms Slowly coming back up onto our hands, tucking the toes, coming into downward facing dog. Drop into our knees now as we come onto our bottom. We go into boat pose here. So sitting in a V shape. And we're just going to do a few toe taps. alternating legs making sure our core is engaged and then slowly lowering down onto our back and bringing the soles of the feet to the mat as we bend our knees up towards our bottom coming into reverse tabletop and take the left leg long and the right arm long. Holding for a breath and then changing to the other side. Right leg long, left arm long. Holding for a breath. Changing to the other side. Low and controlled. And 
and slowly lowering the legs down onto the mat, making any final adjustments. Getting rid of any last minute twitches as we allow ourselves the next three to four minutes to really switch off and sink deeper and deeper into relaxation. Whether you're inside today or out in nature, just bring awareness to any sounds that you can hear. Whether it's cars going by, whether it's birds in the tree, the wind rustling the leaves. Maybe it's your breath. Really having awareness for the noises that are going on around us as we melt deeper and deeper into relaxation. Now that we've thought about the noises around us, we'll think about the space that surrounds us. The space between our eyes, the space between our shoulders, the space between our vital organs. The space between our spine, the space between our toes, and the space that surrounds our entire body. And just think of the energy that runs through that space. Start to bring some movement back into your toes and hands and arms. Today's practice was all about releasing tension, as I mentioned, but also regaining power with some of the power poses. So just really honour yourself right now for allowing your body to do what it needs to do in order to release tension and regain power as we bring our hands to our third eye. May we have kind and loving thoughts today as we lower them to our lips. May we speak kind and loving words today as we lower them to our heart space. May we have kind and loving intentions today as we move about our day. Namaste.